All right, so if your garden hose only has a single outlet on the side of the house for just one hose, well, I have a solution for you, and here it is. This is a little splitter that you hook up with the dual hose connections. We're gonna go ahead and hook it up. I'm gonna show you what it is, what it does, and the benefits, so let's get into it. Okay, so here's everything you're gonna get. You're gonna get a roll of Teflon tape for some nice sealed connections. You're gonna get a couple of extension hoses. And what's great about these hoses is they do have rubber seals in the ends. And the fact that they're flexible with the spring means that when you pull your hose tight, it's not gonna kink the hose. And it's also gonna prevent the hose from ripping and tearing over time. So you're strengthening your hose and preventing kinks. Very, very cool. You're also gonna get the actual splitter itself. This is the part that's gonna screw onto the spigot. This is where your two extension hoses go right here. And then you have a valve for each side to control them independently. And then you're also gonna get some extra washers. How cool is that? You get six extra rubber washers, just in case they crack and wear over time. You have some nice replacements ready to go. So what we're gonna do to hook this up is first you wanna make sure you have rubber washers in your extensions, and you're just gonna screw them on just like so. You're going to put one on both sides. And then we're going to shut these valves off just to make sure that there's not going to be any water shooting out. And we're going to remove our old hose. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually screw this connection on where the old hose was. And you can see no tools are required. You can do all this with by hand with just your fingers. Just to kind of demonstrate it, I guess. Okay, we'll turn it on. Now you can see the water is on, the two valves are closed, there's no leaks or drips, and then you can just turn on whichever leg that you want. Very, very cool for adding that second hose to the front yard. Now you can have one for sprinklers and washing the car. And then once you get all that done, you just simply need to connect your garden hose to one side and just like that you're fully installed now you don't always have to put something on this one say if this your hose is always hooked to this and you just need to fill a bucket with water or whatever you can just turn this one on and if you also want to prevent these from seizing on here over time that's what the teflon tape is for you put it on the threads and that'll keep that sticking keep that from sticking over time so you'll be able to get it off next year or in two years or whenever you decide you no longer want to use it. So overall, it's very handy to have. It's nice to have the extra spigot. You turn one into two. You also have a kink-free design that's also gonna keep the hose from wearing and tearing, and it's gonna give you the extra flexibility you need with your garden hose. I hope this video helps, and thanks for watching.